Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Getting to Know Eclipse Part 6, Advanced Globaling, I'm going to show you all the additional features available in the global window. When globaling in Eclipse, you have a great deal more options than simply typing in the word that you want the steno stroke to be. If I move my cursor to this stroke, which is my brief form for my name and global it, I can type in my name. Eclipse reports my name as misspelled because it's not part of the default spelling dictionary. I can hit the spelling button or press Alt S to open the spelling alternates window. And since it's my own name, I do want to add it to my spelling dictionary. I'm going to hit add. And you see that it's no longer underlined as misspelled. And since it is my own name, I'm going to put it into my main dictionary with Control M. And you see that now this is reported as a correctly spelled word in my main dictionary. Additionally, you can control capitalization through the global window. Down here, I have Monday defined with a lowercase m in my main dictionary by mistake. I'm going to global that. And I can press Alt-C to toggle the capitalization, or I can press the capitalize button. If I hit Alt-C one time, I get initial caps. If I hit Alt-C again, I get all caps. And if I hit Alt-C once more, it goes back to all lowercase. I'll hit Alt-C to change it to initial caps. And I'll correct this entry in my main dictionary by pressing Control M. I'll scroll down further in my document. And the next entry that I see that I want to correct with an advanced feature is Port St. Lucie. I want these words to always be on the same line since they are a single name. And so I'm going to insert lock spaces between each word. I can do that by pressing Alt L or hitting the lock button. So now I have lock spaces between each word in Port St. Lucie. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my main dictionary since I'm a Florida reporter and this is a Florida city by pressing Control M as in Mary. And now you see that Port St. Lucie has wrapped to the bottom line and the word is all together and not split up between lines. I'm going to scroll down to my document to the next example. I see here that this should say uh, answer. I fell and cut my dactylion clean off but for some reason it came out as dactyl ion. And I see in my dictionary list at the bottom that this is defined in all of the dictionaries that I have in use. If I press F9, you see that I have my main dictionary, the job dictionary, and my medical dictionary currently in use. However, in addition to just looking at the entries at the bottom of my note bar, I can also global this entry and hit review to see how this is defined in all of my active dictionaries. I see that in my main dictionary, it's defined as dactylology. In my job dictionary, it's defined as dactyl ion. And since job dictionaries have highest priority, that is how it's translated. And it's in my medical dictionary as dactylion. However, I can also hit the search all button to search the rest of my dictionaries to see if it's in any other dictionaries as well. So I'll hit search all. And you see that it's also in a dictionary called Caption as Dactronics. And from this window, if there's any of these entries that I don't want, I can delete them. If I highlight one and hit Delete Current, it will delete that entry from the Caption Dictionary. And if I highlight one and choose Delete Others, it will delete all of them except for the highlighted entry. If I do Delete All, it will delete everything. So I did Delete Current to delete the entry from the Caption Dictionary. And I'm going to go ahead and just press OK. And I'm going to overwrite the given job dictionary entry because I probably just mistyped that when I entered it earlier. So I'll press Control J to enter this into my job dictionary. And we can go to dictionaries. And you see that caption isn't listed here. But if I go to browse, I have a dictionary called caption. And there's not currently anything in it because the only entry in it was that Datronics entry. And it's now gone because I deleted it using the review feature. So you can global any word and hit review to see what active dictionaries that steno is defined in. And then you can hit search all to see what that steno is defined in in any of your dictionaries. In the global window, you can also check the suggestions box. And when you complete a global by putting an entry into a dictionary or doing a trash or local replacement, I'll go ahead and do control J to put this into my job dictionary again. You'll be given additional entry suggestions that you can add to your dictionary. If you like any of these steno entries, you can highlight them and press OK. And if I press F9 and open my job dictionary, since that's the dictionary I selected, and press OK, 
you see that all of the entries that I had highlighted to select and add to my dictionary have been added. The suggestions feature. The suggestions feature is a great way to get alternative strokes added to your dictionary automatically so that you don't have to wait until you make a mistake or until you decide that you like writing it a different way better. In the global window, you can also hit the delete button to simply delete an entry. If I press delete, the global window closes and I'm taken to where that word was and I can type the word that I want there instead if I'd rather not global it at all. Or I can remove the space if it was simply an extra stroke that shouldn't be there. The next feature I'm going to show is the prompt feature. If I hit control G, I'm going to uncheck suggestions for this example and I'm going to change my word the to lowercase because I don't want to put it in my dictionary with initial caps. And this time I'm going to check prompt. And when I press OK, I'll be prompted to confirm each global replacement. I'll press OK. And it asks me to confirm each instance of the word the when I replace it using the prompt function. And this is helpful if you want to check each global before it's finalized. If you had similar strokes that you may have mixed up, this can be very helpful. When globaling, you have one-click access to the Special Entries drop-down list. You can use the Special Entries drop-down list to quickly access syntax for entries that you need to add to your dictionary to perform special functions. Some of these entries have a keystroke listed next to them, like the lock space, which says Control plus Accent, will allow me to insert a lock space. So if I click in the global window and hit Control Accent, you see that I get a lock space. In addition to Control Accent to insert a lock space, you see that you can also use the standard keys to insert question answers and speakers, F3, F4, and F2. You can also use control period to insert a period, control slash to insert a question mark, control comma to insert a comma, and various other punctuation commands. So if I go back to the global window and hit F3, I get a question. If I hit F4, I get an answer. And if I hit F2 and choose a speaker and press OK, I get that speaker automatically. Additionally, I can type something like speaker one. And if I look to the right here at this little options button, you see that one of the things that I can do is insert and surround in braces. So I can do control N to surround an entry automatically in braces. That means that I don't have to type the braces in order to put something in them. So I can type a delete space and hit control N and it will automatically surround it in braces for me. Additionally, in this insert menu, you can use control S to add a prefix or suffix to an entry. And so if I type in have and then control S, I can do G for having, and it automatically corrects the spelling for me. Also in this insert menu are control D to insert the date and control W to insert special characters. You can press control D to insert the date and time. It defaults to the current date and time from your PC, but you can type in a different date and time to insert it if you'd like. I'll just go ahead and press OK to insert the current time, and it comes out exactly as my settings specified. I can hit Control W to access the special characters window. So I can insert any of these included special characters. So I can include any special characters that's needed, such as the copyright symbol or the registered symbol. Simply select the symbol you want to use and press OK, and it'll be inserted into the global window. The last important feature of the global window that I'd like to show is how easy it is to search for something. I'm going to Global Dactylion and simply hit F5, and Eclipse automatically Googles this word for me. So anytime you global something after you hit Control G or Hyper Key G, you can simply hit F5, and Eclipse will automatically launch a Google search for that word. You don't have to mark the word first, search for it, and then global it. You can simply global it and hit F5, retrieve your correct spelling, and paste it directly into the global window. With so many ways to control your steno at the tip of your fingers in the global window, Eclipse offers you total control over all of your steno entries. You can put entries into any dictionary, remove them from any dictionary, and the Special Entries drop-down menu gives you quick access at the touch of a button to all of the popular syntax in Eclipse. All of these options have available keystrokes that can be learned to save you time and energy when editing. As always, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached for questions about globling or any of Eclipse's other great features or Advantage Software's other great products anytime at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com.
Please reach out to us if you have questions about anything. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified as soon as we publish new videos. Thank you so much and have a great day.